Do you want to work on your own terms and sometimes in the comforts of your own home? Well, freelancing might just work for you. To tell us more about freelancing and an event to train beginners in this field, we have in the studio the founder of Freelance Blend, Marv De Leon. Good morning, Marv. Welcome Good morning. to Daybreak. Good morning. So I suppose uh, for the benefit of our viewers um, who might not be too familiar with freelancing, what exactly mm -hmm. is freelance? Freelancing is actually, well, a freelancer is someone who is self-employed. Uh, the definition is, 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 is it's someone who works um, as is self-employed and also who's not tied to a particular employer. So that's basically the freelancer. So you can actually have several employers so long as you can fit it in your schedule? Yes, yes, okay. correct. Um, who are usually freelance workers? Well, based on, well, here in the Philippines, mostly work at home moms. Uh, college, I, see, I see the benefit of that. <laughs> yeah, college graduates and even those who are still in college or who would like to earn extra to okay. maybe pay their tuition. Even retirees or early, even early retirees are doing freelancing. Okay, so most of freelance work is from home. Yes, online freelancing. Online freelancing. Yeah. And I do see the benefit of that when it comes to, for example, the elderly, so they don't have to take the commute daily. Yes. They can just do it from the comfort of their home so long as their brain is very much alive yeah. and, and still working, right? And, Especially and they're sharp. The, yeah. Okay. Especially with the traffic and everything. So. What would be the disadvantage, though, of, of doing freelance work? Well, the challenge of being a freelancer is finding work because as a freelancer, you're, you're self-employed, so you're like... Uh, a business owner so like a business owner you you look for new clients um, unless, unless you have a steady um, client okay. uh, base that's the main challenge of being a freelancer and next would be according to surveys of freelancers would be that they don't have benefits like office uh, workers or employ employees so that's another challenge the benefits like insurance health and even accident uh, but how, how is the pay? Is the pay good? I mean, for freelance work? Well, uh, to be to be honest, at the start it'll be hard. So, but if you if you get the if you get used to it, and then you, you get a steady stream of clients, the work will, can be as better than a regular job. Can you give us some examples of these jobs that you can do from home? Uh, for example, for new moms mm -hmm. or for those who are um, incapable of being able to get out of yeah. the house daily because mm -hmm. of physical disabilities and whatnot. What kind of jobs? Can you mention some? Yeah, I would suggest they go to a freelance marketplace called there's elance.com, there's freelancer.ph, Odesk. Okay. Look for the available jobs. It's like the eBay of freelancers. So okay. there are companies there who bid, who place jobs and you can bid for jobs. So you could either be a virtual assistant. It's uh -huh. like an administration assistant, but you're, it's like So you get emails of the tasks and then let's say you're, you're tasked to write an email to this person. Yes, and, okay. yes. Actually from the, from the website, you can see what the, the job is about and then you just follow what, what is being asked by the, by the client. So okay. you can do that. You can be a virtual assistant. You can also be, if you're good in graphic design, you can uh, do graphic design work. If you're IT... That would be perfect for a lot of the artists. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> They yeah. just do the graphic Actually, design a, from home. Are I'm you a graphic, a graphic designer. artist? Oh, okay. Yeah, so. and there's also, of course, if you have IT, if you're studying uh, IT or for an IT graduate, there's lots of web design and also software design. Okay, so it seems like there's a wide range of different types of opportunities for freelance work online, yes. depending on your skills. Yes. So you just have to look for the employers that are looking for those particular skills. Correct. correct okay, so correct. you yourself are a freelance um, worker, right? Well, for now, I have a day job, so okay. I do it as a sideline. Okay. So well, eventually, hopefully, I can go, go full-time because a lot of people are really doing it full time so so how many hours usually are the minimum because normally if you take on for example a, a job a day mm -hmm. job it's like a nine to five sort yeah, of thing yeah. so but for freelance work is there a minimum it depends actually on the job so if it's a very easy task like for example their data entry jobs um, it could it could take probably three to four hours it depends actually on the job and 
in the freelance marketplaces, they, they tell you how, how long the job will Hence, Hence the advantage, right? So yes. you can actually fit it to your schedule and to your needs and yes. to uh, how many hours a day you're willing yeah. to work. Okay, so you're going to have a seminar. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about the, the seminar. This okay. is for people that are very interested in trying out freelance yeah. work. So it's Freelancing for Beginners 1.0. It's our very first workshop. Especially for beginners, that's why it's uh, for beginners. So, especially in the Philippines, that's it's not really um, freelance work is still not is still very new. So, we'd like to teach the f newbies how to earn online and well, first know their personality if they're fit to freelance because freelancing is not for everyone. So, so the workshop will address that if they're fit to freelance and then show them the opportunities uh, where they can earn online. And then we also have guest panelists who are experts, expert freelancers who, who they can ask and who, who, they, who can um, give advice to them. Okay, so where is this again? And um, uh, this would be at what venue and what time? Tell her, please invite yes. our audience who so are interested. Please come to the Freelancing for Beginners 1.0. It's at Go Hotels Building in Mandaluyong, Edsa Corner, Pioneer Street. It's about August 16, Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So to register, just go to freelanceblend.com slash beginners1. Okay, lastly, because we are speaking from personal experience of being a freelance employee, mm -hmm. um, can you tell us in one sentence why they should uh, go to this uh, seminar? I mean, how has it helped you in one sentence? In one word. <laughs> oh, you want in one <laughs> word? That's a lot more difficult. <laughs> uh, well, well, yeah, to... To open their minds uh, that there is already a group of freelancers in the Philippines, and if you if you'd like to turn on the side or become a full-time freelancer, well, we would like you to come to the workshop and we'll teach you how. Fantastic. So it seems like this is definitely a great opportunity to see what your options are based on your skills. Thank you for joining us, uh, Marvin. Uh, that was Marv De Leon. He is the founder of Freelance Blend.